Hello team and welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map today in a 1v1 between Archer in blue and Zoro in red. This is Group E action from the T2 2024 tournament that is going on right now in Line War. Running July 1st to July 7th. This game was played on July 1st, I believe. And Archer's down here in the bottom left. The Zoro relatively close in the center of the map. And you can see that from the picking phase, both players were picking the center of the map as the preferred place to go. It makes a lot of sense. There's these two energy wells that both players could take, a lot of eco in the center. And then of course, the center is a great spot to kind of expand more freely in the map. It's generally the preferred place to be. And there are 16 players, or 24 players in this, this uh, group stage right now it's six groups of four after the group stage it goes into a knockout stage like a normal bracket and in this game archer's gone for a farm and a town two barracks a factory and an airport making helicopters and the zora has gone for two factories one going for artillery one going for sams and then four barracks and red capping in all directions from the starting location Neither player really has a, a super strong position on the map relative to one another. Both of them have a good fighting chance to take the center of the map. And then obviously for Archer, there's a lot of eco on the left-hand side, especially in the bottom left with all these industries and towns and cities. And then same thing for the Zora on the right-hand side. A lot of room to expand. The first helicopter for Archer is nearly complete. This is Blue's vision, so has no idea how close Red is. And then same thing for Red, won't realize how close Blue is. And Archer puts down a third barracks. With the first helicopter completing. The safest refinery, Blue doesn't really know it yet, but the safest refinery I actually take for Archer is here. This mountain refinery. And it's more helicopters from Archer. Zoro is going to be relatively prepared for the helicopters because of the SAMs that are being produced. And Blue's vision here seeing Zoro's first infantry. So kind of giving Blue an idea of where Red would spawn. And then same thing for Red. This is Zoro's vision. The forest will probably come into play. This is a good defender's advantage for Archer to potentially put entrenchments in the forests. And just in general... These are blue controlled territories. So the terrain bonus more goes in blue's favor rather than red's. And we'll see how Zora decides to react to this. Red doesn't see any of the producers except for this town because of the negative stealth on the town. And it looks like in general, red's gonna push towards blue's starting base. If we go top down, if the scroll button were here we go. Pretty much the same amount of territories. It's 370 income for red and 447 for blue. Archer is also going for some SAM pieces after building the first artillery piece. We'll see if blue is like alternating between SAMs and artillery or if it's a few SAMs and then a switch back into artillery pieces. Artillery, of course, being super effective against the infantry as long as the artillery piece isn't run down by infantry and in general the artillery does way better if there is a line of blue infantry in front of it and archer's doing a good job to keep some infantry in front of this artillery piece and it is an alternating of sam's and artillery pieces there's still no refinery for blue so the helicopters can't quite be used yet And there's no airport for red, so the SAMs that Blue is producing, it's nice, it's a nice little insurance marker, but won't actually come in, into play anytime soon. Unless Sora decides to invest in an airport. There is a relatively safe refinery that the Zora is going to take here, in the bottom right. So that could be a spot where red sees, okay, there's energy that is able to be secured, so it could go for airports, or tanks in the case like this. Although... We'll see how much money is being made. It's not that much for the Zoro. Not that much for Archer as well at 132 a minute. So Red likely not going to be able to make a 
big investment into an airport. It is mostly just a push here from red off of these this three wide all army capture move. And this is where an artillery piece really gets a lot of value. Shelling away at the infantry and the blue infantry standing in front of the artillery piece. The helicopters won't be able to run for long. You can see the energy in the top right. That archer is using. It's a fourth helicopter being produced. And the Sam's nice job from Zora to rot rotate them up to the north. And Red is going to likely destroy one of the helicopters. The Sam's should target fire the injured one if it's in range. A nice pickup from Zora. Probably won't get the second helicopter since Archer takes a move command to send the helicopter back into a safer position. Nice job from Blue who also has a capping barracks on the top left. That for now is going to filter infantry into the center. There's a chance that Zara is going to have to fight on two fronts. Here by the forest, which so far is going very well for Blue. The trade here. And then also all these infantry from Archer pouring into the center of the map. This group of infantry up north for the Zora probably not going to be able to get to the barracks. And the longer this goes on, the more infantry that will be produced by the barracks will be more difficult over time for Zora to actually destroy that. And it's another barracks for Archer instead of a refinery. Which might just so show that uh, Archer isn't super confident that this push is going to be held. It still looks like a lot more reinforcements that are showing up. Three Sams standing here covering the Red Army makes it less attractive for the helicopters to get involved. Against three Sams, Blue probably wants to have five helicopters or so to really take this on. If the helicopters have to fight the Sams, the Sams for Red are going to move command to this dot makes a lot of sense that they're not going to stop to fight any of the blue units and there's four sams now for zora so there's an opportunity for one of these uh, these uh, factories to produce artillery pieces there's actually five sams the fifth one is almost here which is plenty to deal with one airport full of helicopters refinery now for archer which is great because the helicopters can't really be used until that's up and a capping barracks for the zora on the right hand side which is really nice you can see that main fight in the south and then also this group of red infantry in the north taking on a few of blue infantry. And the helicopters launch but they probably are just trying to get away from the Sams because Archer would now notice at this point that the red Sams have no interest in staying close to the army. They're just going right to the airport. They're actually on a target command on the airport so the Sams are going to attack helicopters that they can with their SAMs, but then most most of the time just focus on getting to the airport and try to destroy it. Four SAMs really isn't all that much, especially now that they're being attacked by these artillery pieces and infantry. But it's probably not a very comfortable situation for Blue. Although so far the hold is going well. And top down. Archers moving through these mountain ranges. It's going to take a while for these infantry to actually cap to the left because of the, the move speed nerf as they go through the mountains. And income wise, 657 for blue and 560 for red. If Archer can hold here and not lose this barracks in the top left, this is going, it will be going very well for blue. Because if we look at the units lost, it's probably not a great trade for Red, but it, this could end the game if Red can just somehow get through this this position from Blue and then start destroying the producers, the game would be over pretty quickly. Or rather, it would certainly shift in Red's favor. Archer is deciding to move the helicopters up to the north, which is a super smart idea. There's no SAM coverage for these Red infantry. Although I think over time, this one barracks would be able to deal with 
this many infantry. There's no reinforcements for red. And blue is starting to develop a little bit of a blob of artillery, an overwhelming number of blue artillery pieces. The Zora will probably be lucky if one of these factories is destroyed. And production-wise, it's these six barracks and two factories against these six barracks and two factories from blue and then the helicopters, the, the airport as well. There's only two more SAMs here. So the helicopters at some point could transition to move back down to the south and actually take this fight straight up. Zoro's adding another barracks for some more infantry. This push is stalling a little bit though. And the defender's advantage is huge for blue here. All these blue units popping out of the barracks and factories get in the fight way quicker than the red units. There's no more infantry in the top for red, which is unfortunate. And this will allow blue to start pushing back and taking some of this territory in the, the field to the north. Red's now in the tough position because this fight is not going well at all. And so is probably going to back up here. And it's tough because red now has the the decision to make to either like entrench in front of these two barracks or give up some more space and back up. But this is the decision Zora's making. So Archer's not going to be able to go through this entrenchment. There's enough room for Red to actually get this set up and dug in before Blue starts shelling the position. So Archer potentially could just go around to the north and avoid this defensive line entirely or continue to mass up units and then try to actually push through it. But you can see Blue's decision is just to go to the north. There's these four helicopters up here as well, which is super strong. And uh, it'll be very, I think, very difficult for Red to come back in this game. Archer's adding some more eco, feeling very comfortable. But there's no need for building producers. So this long term is very good for Blue on the eco front. It's 650 economy for the Zoro and 777 for Archer. This is an interesting move from Archer just to kind of patrol these helicopters. They will inevitably run into these infantry if Zoro decides to go left with them. But Red's certainly on a timer with all of these blue infantry taking back all this territory. can see now that the plan from blue is to actually send the new helicopters down to the south and one helicopter with a handful of infantry here is going to be very good for archer to push along this little whatever we're going to call this geographic feature this little channel this little pathway into the two barracks for zoro in the back the zoro can see this move from archer it's a kind of a tough position no super obvious move that Red can make here. Potentially just start pushing towards these two defensive lines because there's not that many units here. It would look as if the Zoro could, in a great case, actually just quickly push through while the, the blue army is in some sense out of position. But Red's gonna have to do devastating damage with this push. And right now there's enough units from Red to do it. Arch is going to start collapsing down from the north. And this is really bad news for all the reinforcements here. You're going to have to make the decision either to defend these barracks or continue along with the main fighting force. And top down. A split map in the center, but of course the, the momentum for blue is huge in the north. This many infantry underneath helicopters, the infantry might actually be able to destroy this thing. There's these four SAMs, they're kind of in place in time.
And luckily for Blue, this helicopter actually gets out of there. So Archer's move is to actually use the helicopters at home to defend because this looks like a lot of infantry and red units in general. I think this push from the north is going to, to win the game for blue. Even with the handful of helicopter losses, there's just so much going on for blue in the north. Destroying one of those barracks. And then also in the south, this is going pretty well for Archer. There's actually an interceptor being built for Archer, and then three more barracks in the back, just as a, a more insurance that this push actually won't do all that much. And of course, it'll allow Blue to push back even harder once this fight is over. There's more eco for Archer in the bottom. There's actually a trade route here that Blue could start setting up shortly. And eco wise, 1047 for Blue, 690 for Red. And unfortunately for Red, the. Defender's bonus from blue is just a little bit too much. It was a nice try from Zora to actually jump out of those entrenchment lines and go for a push. Well played both. Group E action in the 1v1 T2 2024 tournament going on in LimeWare right now. There's a bracket that I'll link in the uh, video description to the group stage. Uh, I think that's it. We'll start. We'll cast more of these games. Check out the LimeWare Discord if you want to look at the replays. It's in the tournament replays channel. And uh, join the Discord if you want to just chat about the game, ask questions, see what's up. Hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is. Thanks for the support in any way you choose to do it. Liking the video, commenting, subbing. It all helps the channel grow. Long live Lion War. Peace, folks. <laughs>